Hello, Katie here from Katie's World. Thanks for tuning in today. In this video, I'm going to be doing a paper piecing from an upcoming page kit, baking up some magic. Um, this is going to be page kit number 112. Once this kit's available, I will have the link below, but for right now, I do have the link to my shop where you can check out all of my fun projects. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. So I'm going to be using the Designer Dries Clear Liquid Glue by Art Glitter with the fine metal tip. And then here we have the base of her. And so what I like to do, I've already gone ahead and just spread out my pieces so I can see everything I have. And um, what I like to do is just like look at the larger pieces first and more along what's the outside edge. And that kind of helps me work my way in for placement. And what you can do too is you can even just lay them out without putting glue on them just to get an idea on the spacing before you go ahead and add your glue. Sometimes that helps me um, with that. So yeah, I can kind of get an idea how the spacing is gonna go. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh look, my glue is starting to come out. There might be some pressure issues. I'm just gonna wipe that off. Okay. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay, so when that happens, I just squeeze it. If, if it ever happens to you, it's gonna, it's got, it's got some built up air in there. Oh, I don't wanna waste so much glue. But if I use it like that, I'm gonna get way too much glue on my project. Oh, there you go, can you hear that? All right, the blockage is out or the pressure. Okay, so now we can get started. Well, there you got a little new tip. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with her shoes. It's very delicate. These pieces are, um, uh, delicate. So just careful not to rip them apart. There are some connection points in here. This is why it's kind of hanging on by a thread in some places because they're just little connection points instead of gluing on a whole bunch of tiny little pieces. It's all connected, but then you go in at the end with a fine tip pen and or marker and then just color over those connection points. So hopefully my spacing is okay on here. I think this was supposed to be up a little bit more, but I'm it's down, so I'm gonna leave it. All right, oh, some glue dripped on there. Okay, I'm gonna do the bow next. And then, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go in with her hand. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the little red, the handle to the whisk on. Now, when you get a little piece of textured paper on one side, you know that that's the top or face up. If you're not sure which is face up, like this one might be hard to tell if it didn't have a texture. So what I do in that case, if you can't tell, is just lay it down both ways and see which way looks better. And if you can't tell, then either way is fine. <laughs> so, how I do it. Okay. So maybe this one would fit in there.
So I'm working from outside in. So now that I have the bow on her apron in, that kind of helps me see the outline of her dress right here. Some of the glue oozed out, so I'm just going to take my pen and pull that. Now it does dry clear, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'll give you just a little close up. I don't know how much you can see right there, but you can see where I'm at so far. Okay, I could probably put her face in now. In the kits, I do provide a picture, which is what I'm referring to right now, um, but you'd have that in your kit as well. But then you'll also have this uh, video to refer back to if you pick up a kit and then want to come back and watch this video while you're putting yours together. And now we can fill in her eyes. And her tongue, we can do that one next. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put her apron on. It's going to go right in there. Right down here. I'll give you a little close-up of that quickly. Okay, and now we can put on the little, little apron fringe, I guess. It's so tiny. Or just skinny. Okay, now we have, this one looks like it might be a little tricky, but maybe there's a little outline, maybe the bottom of the hand might be okay. Right there, and then this is going to go in, just kind of want to see where we're going with this. So before you put the hand on, you might want to put in the pieces of the bowl because it's got to all fit in there just right. Okay. 
And this piece too, I think. It's gonna fit in there. Oh yeah, yay. Okay, well, I think what I'm gonna do, put this back here. I'm gonna leave these here. If they don't move, and put the hand in. Okay, let's see. All right, well, hope for the best. Let's hope it all lines up now. So you want this piece right here, this, that little point. See how on her hand it comes down right there? So you don't want that to go beyond that point. Okay, so this other one, let's go ahead and get some glue on this. This one, you kind of, um, uh, let's see, it's kind of lining up with the edge of this point right here and that point kind of in the same. Now let's see if it works. If it all lines up, then we're okay. Oops. Make sure you have this one. Make sure you're gluing the smooth side if it's a texture piece because it looks kind of the same on both sides. All right, not too bad. One last piece, and then we'll use the fine tip marker on the connection points. So here's the little, ah, it's a silver foil on one side and white on the other. So if you just see white, turn it over because it's actually a silver um, mirror type paper for the whisk. I don't know if it's up as high as it's supposed to be. I think it's fine. I think as a whole, I'm looking at every little piece individually and critiquing it, but I think as a whole, that looks super cute. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with a pen. Let me go ahead and close up my glue so it doesn't clog up on me while I'm doing that. And I always wipe the tip and wipe the pen when you don't want it to clog up on you. And I even go like this a little bit just to make sure it's clear. Okay, so I am using the Zig Writer by EK Success. I'm trying to see if it'll focus. I don't know if it's focusing. Let me see. It doesn't want to focus. Oh, there we go. Zig Rider, and this is the pure black. It's kind of rubbed off, but it's the pure black. Okay, it's got two tips. I'm using the um, the thin one, and the way you know it's a thin without taking off the cap is it's got a little rigid end here, and this one has a smooth, so that one you know it's the thin. And okay, so now 
let's see, let's just start at the top and work our way down. So for the bow, we've got a little point right here. So we need to go over that. And then to right here in the middle, we've got a couple of spots here. And let's see her um, where her eyelashes are. Right there, we've got three spots there. And down her dress. Oh, right here. Let me thin bow. I don't know if you can see that. Just right there. Just kind of went over that. Um, and then right here by her sleeve. And over here. Yeah, there's a lot of spots because otherwise it would have so many pieces. It would have been like impossible and no fun to put together. <laughs> okay, so on her, well, no, wait, let's see, we did the dress, the apron, yeah, right here. Little spot. Um, the bowl. Right there and right here. Okay, yeah, that looks that looks good. Okay. On now on the um this part in between each little ruffle. You don't have to on this one. It looks fine without doing it. I'm just doing it because that's how the original, how it was originally intended, but yeah, looks fine. Oh, her hand. Let's not forget her hand up here. And her finger. Yeah, that's a lot of little spots. And her shoes. Okay, so right here, this little spot right there. Right over here, um, and right here. Hoping that you can see all that on camera. I'll hold it up close one last time. Well, I want to thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please click that thumbs up button for me. That would be great. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos from me. And click that bell for notifications if you'd like to um, have alerts on your phone as to when I post new videos. Please also follow me on Facebook and Instagram where I post updates of upcoming projects. And once again, the link is below to my shop. Once this kit will be available, that will be the link below. Um, but please go check out my shop and follow me there. And I'm always putting new stuff up. So... Thank you so much again for watching and have a great day.